Isaiah chapter 47 Go down, sit in the dust, virgin daughter Babylon, sit on the ground without a throne. Queen city of the Babylonians, no more will you be called tender or delicate. Take millstones and grind flour, take off your veil, lift up your skirts, bare your legs, and wade through the streams. Your nakedness will be exposed and your shame uncovered. I will take vengeance, I will spare no one. Our Redeemer, the Lord Almighty is His name, is the Holy One of Israel. Sit in silence, go into darkness, Queen City of the Babylonians, no more will you be called Queen of Kingdoms. I was angry with my people and desecrated my inheritance, I gave them into your hand. And you showed them no mercy even on the aged, you laid a very heavy yoke. You said, I am forever the eternal queen, but you did not consider these things or reflect on what might happen. Now then listen, you lover of pleasure, longing in your security and saying to yourself, I am and there is none besides me. I will never be a widow or suffer the loss of children. Both of these will overtake you in a moment on a single day, loss of children and widowhood. They will come upon you in full measure in spite of your many sorceries and all your potent spells. You have trusted in your wickedness and have said, No one sees me. Your wisdom and knowledge mislead you. When you say to yourself, I am and there is none besides me, disaster will come upon you and you will not know how to conjure it away. A calamity will fall upon you that you cannot ward off with a reason, a catastrophe you cannot foresee will suddenly come upon you. Keep on then with your ma magic spells and with your many sorceries, which you have labored at since childhood. Perhaps you will succeed. Perhaps you will cause terror. All the counsel you have received has only worn you out. Let your astrologers come forward, those stargazers who make predictions month by month, let them save you and from what is coming upon you. Surely they are like stubble. The fire will burn them up. They cannot even save themselves from the power of the flame. These are not coals for warmth. This is not a fire to sit by. That is all they are to you. These you have dealt with and labored with since childhood. All of them go on in their error. There is not one that can save you. Isaiah chapter 48 Listen to this, you descendants of Jacob, you who are called by the name of Israel and come from the line of Judah. You who take oaths in the name of the Lord and invoke the God of Israel, but not in truth or righteousness. You who call yourselves citizens of the holy city and claim to rely on the God of Israel, the Lord Almighty, in his name. I foretold the former things long ago, my mouth announced them and I made them known. Then suddenly I acted and they came to pass. For I knew how stubborn you were. Your neck muscles were iron, your forehead was bronze. Therefore I told you these things long ago before they happened, I announced them to you. So that you could not say my images brought them about, my wooden image and metal God ordained them. You have heard these things, look at them all, will you not admit them? From now on I will tell you of new things, of hidden things unknown to you. They are created now and not long ago, you have not heard of them before today. So you cannot say, yes I knew of them. You have neither heard nor understood, from of old your ears have not, op have, have not been opened. Well do I know how treacherous you are, you were called a rebel from birth. For my own name's sake I delay my wrath, for the sake of my praise I hold it back from you, so as not to destroy you completely. 
See, I have refined you, though not as silver. I have tested you in the furnace of affliction. For my own sake, for my own sake, I do this. How can I let myself be defamed? I will not yield my glory to another. Listen to me, Jacob, Israel, whom I have called. I am he. I am the first and I am the last. My own hand laid the foundations of the earth, and my right hand spread out the heavens. When I summoned them, they all stand up together. Come together, all of you, and listen, which of the idols has foretold these things? The Lord's chosen ally will carry out his purpose against Babylon. His arm will be against the Babylonians. I, even I, have spoken. Yes, I have called him. I will bring him, and he will succeed in his mission. Come near me and listen to this. From the first announcement, I have not spoken in secret. At the time it happens, I am there. And now the Sovereign Lord has sent me, endowed with His Spirit. This is what the Lord says, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord your God, who teaches you what is best for you, who directs you in the way you should go. If only you had paid attention to my commands, your peace would have been like a river, your well-being like the waves of the sea. Your descendants would have been like the sand, your children like its numberless grains. Their name would never be blotted out nor destroyed from before me. Leave Babylon, flee from the Babylonians. Announce this with shouts of joy and proclaim it. Send it out to the ends of the earth. Say, the Lord has redeemed his servant Jacob. They did not thirst when he led them through the deserts. He made water flow from them from the rock. He split the rock and water gushed out. There is no peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. 